Hey, uh, this is uh, Wario7793. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and showcase a couple of mail order items, toys, that I got uh, during the 1990s. Uh, the first item I got is a... Find it here. It's a 50th anniversary... Get my fingers out of the way here. 50th anniversary 164 scale NASCAR racing uh, Pontiac Grand Prix number 50 from Racing Champions. Uh, cost uh, two dollars originally. You see it there. Uh, it says Racing Champions on it. Um, the paint is made of uh, just 24 karat gold. So I don't think this is a limited edition, but it's pretty nice. Uh, nice, you know, nice and shiny. Um, very nicely detailed. It comes in this neat little case. You can see here. Um, I got some pictures of it that I'm going to include with the uh, uh, while I'm talking about it. Um, I did look it up online. It uh, it seems to be worth uh, between two and eight dollars, so not worth a lot of money, but a nice little collectible and, and fairly cheap for anybody who just wants to celebrate when NASCAR uh, celebrated its 50th. Uh, year. Um, it started in 1948 and this car came out in 1998. Um, the next one I have here is a, uh, a Red Baron. Let's see if you can see it here. So it, was a, it was a little die cast airplane, biplane, made by the Red Baron Pizza Company. Um, is part of the Stearman Squadron, um, and it was made in 1991. Let's see, it's got this Red Baron on the side there. Uh, from what I read online, it was part of a three-plane squadron. Um, I'll showcase some pictures too and talk a little bit about it. The only thing I could find worth what the, where the, as far as I know, this is the only plane that was made into a, a diecast toy that could be bought uh, and then sent to the mail for collectors. Um, the original offer, which came out in, sometime in the early 90s, um, it said if you could uh, come up with two proof of purchase barcode seals off of a Red Baron pizza of certain types, which I used to, I used to love you getting those anyways, and two dollars, they still send you one of these in a sealed little baggie. Um, this one here is probably not worth as much because it's been opened and has been uh, been sitting on display, and I had to wipe it off and dust it off to, to showcase it for this. Um, they're worth uh, between fifteen and twenty-five dollars, depending on condition. I'd say the one that the, that you're seeing in the pictures here is probably worth about fifteen dollars tops. Might be worth about thirteen. And uh, I figured it'd be kind of worth uh, displaying these. They're, they're kind of rare and hard to find. Uh, at least now they are. They used to be pretty common. Uh, and that's, that's about all I can uh, say about all these. Uh, they're they're interesting. They're, they're kind of neat. Um, I have the, the airplane displayed uh, with some other with a display case that I have, and the car uh, I have it safely tucked in with other Hot Wheels that I collect. Hot Wheels Matchbox and uh, Johnny Lightning. And other racing champion cars that I've collected over the years, and I say it's kept safe and, and uh, relatively dust-free and, and uh, damage-free and all that. So I'm hoping it'll last for many, many years. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, this is Wario Seven Seven Nine Three. Thank you very much.